What's going on everybody, TG here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be going over why I am loading up on Amazon shares and why I think it's a good time to. So, let's go over what Amazon is. Amazon is the e-commerce giant that has their foot in the door in almost every single sector there is. If we look up here, these are all the things that Amazon owns, and it's a lot of big things. You know, Whole Foods brings in so much money, their Audible brings in so much money, they have their books, they have their Amazon Fresh, Ring, Blink. And they have their big boy, AWS, which is continuing to grow so much, brought in over $10 billion last time. It's it's really, you know, just getting huge. And they obviously have their Amazon.com, their Amazon Prime, their own shipping, logistics, their robotics. Like, they have their foot in so many doors right now, and it's just going to continue to grow and grow and grow. And even things like gaming, like their Amazon Gaming, their Twitch I mean, Twitch is just an absolute monster when it comes to the live streaming market. And, you know, they have their foot in the door on that as well. They're bringing in so much money from so many different sectors. And Amazon in itself is diversification. Okay, so when we're investing in companies, people like to talk about diversification and stuff. And Amazon in itself is diversified. And that's what I love about it. It has its foot in so many different aspects of the market and the economy that it can thrive under any circumstance, which it has proven time and time again especially in this pandemic. And that is why I have currently bought a couple more shares today of Amazon and we're up to a little over 10 shares of Amazon. I wanna get that up to 15 if we go down, but I also don't want it to go down. I'd rather it just go up. And why I do think it's gonna go up is because of next week, which is earnings. Now, they are expected to do 87 to $93 billion um, in revenue for Q3 of 2020. So that's obviously a ton, and Wall Street's expecting them to do $92.5 billion and an earnings per share of four or seven point two five. My bad, that was from last quarter. So, you know, Amazon potentially could do that, and I, I definitely think it will. And another another big thing that I'm looking at is their guidance for the next quarter. You know, next quarter is not only the Amazon Prime Day that's going to be factored into it, but the holidays as well. And that is when the money really comes in. If we look at it, um, Amazon's expecting what they're expecting, $111 billion in revenue for the fourth quarter. Just insane growth. And at these current evaluations at Amazon, you know, it's been, it's been getting hammered this past week. You know, down almost 7%, you know, barely even up for the three month, you know, on a company that is is solid and continuing to grow and grow and grow with a $1.62 trillion market cap. I could see this being a $2 trillion market cap within the next couple months, to be honest with you. And another thing is, I really do think, I said this before, I think Amazon is going to have a stock split pretty soon. Okay. I think the stock is, you know, obviously a very high price of $3,200 a share. Not many people can afford that. Okay. So, I feel like it would behoove Amazon to not do that. So I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to do a stock split. And if it does, you're going to see it run like nothing else. Remember, we saw with Tesla and Apple when they did their stock split. The stocks after they announced that stock split went up over 40% on their own. Tesla going up over 90% since they just announced the stock split. Like a stock split will bring in so much more liquidity to Amazon and so many new buyers that couldn't have previously afforded Amazon, but now can because of the cheaper share price. And I feel like that's going to be huge. Another thing is one of the analysts came out and said that Amazon's Prime Day sales topped $10.6 in two days. That's just absolutely insane that they could sell that much within two days. And that's something to look forward to for next year quarter wouldn't that because that is that is going to be on next quarter's earnings and i'm just expecting it to be through the roof so <clears throat> i'm expecting us to beat this earnings and have really positive guidance for quarter four earnings if we do that i, I see amazon flying if they announce a stock split as well this stock's four thousand dollars per share and you know me being able to load up all these shares you know at an average cost of i don't know it doesn't say my average cost in here for some reason but I think it's around 3200 exactly, or 3176 is my average cost. So, you know, I'm I'm that's a pretty good cost. You know, I'm not going to complain about that. A couple years down the road, Amazon continues to grow. I see that thing 4000, 5000, you know, and if we do a split, 
it's, it's game changing. I'll be able to sell covered calls. I'll be able to sell puts on Amazon. So many people that haven't been able to get into Amazon are allowed to get into Amazon mm -hmm. now. It's huge, and it's it's truly groundbreaking if they do this stock split. And you know, like I said, with Amazon and its foot in so many doors and so much diversification within one company, it's a safe bet to put your money into Amazon, especially people that want to play it safe. They put their money into Amazon, and that has guaranteed sales all the time. You know, has their own stores, has their own logistics, has their own gaming, has their own streaming, has their own subscription. You know, Amazon is almost reaching 200 million subscribers for Amazon Prime alone. That's crazy. That's an absolute crazy amount of money that they're going to be bringing in by just that. So, <clears throat> you know, it continues to grow and grow and grow. You know, they were at over 150 million at the end of January. You know, who knows? If they can continue to increase, they'll be at 200 million. And that'll just bring in so much extra revenue right there. And people who have Amazon Prime are inclined to buy more. You know, I see Amazon as a safe bet. I'm going to continue to put my money into it. Like I said, I want to even get more Amazon if I can. I might actually go ahead and buy another share if it it's 2325. You know, just keep loading up on these shares because I'm telling you, I feel like there's going to be a run up to earnings and I feel like earnings are going to be through the roof. And more importantly, guidance for quarter four. So that's just what I'm doing. I'm loading up on Amazon shares and, you know, I think that it would be pretty wise to for a lot of people to load up on these shares so that's about amazon you know i also made a couple other plays today if you guys are interested i sold some workhorse puts and we're currently up 86 dollars on that so far we got workhorse when it was at the bottom today <clears throat> and when we also sold our american airlines a little way too early but we still made like 80 dollars in profit from that and then we also went ahead and sold a work or a fastly put and we ended up locking in some good profit on Fastly, which is nice. So I'll show you guys exactly how much I made. I'm pretty sure it was $55 in total that we made from profit. But let me just clarify just to show you guys. Yeah, $55 in total we made from it. We sold it for $171, bought it back for $120. So $55 in about one hour, not bad. And then we also went ahead and sold some AT&T puts that I'm actually going to continue to sell some more probably because I like AT&T. <clears throat> And with this, it being this low, I feel like it's a really good price. So we put our order in a buy to sell another one at 28. We'll see if we get it. I don't know yet, but you know, we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know, let's see what happens with Amazon. Like I said, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm showing you guys, Hey, you know, I'm putting my money in Amazon. I feel like it's a great play and you know, it's got so much growth potential just to continue to be the biggest e-commerce giant in the entire world and i mean obviously especially in the u.s that nothing even competes with it in the u.s and now that it's starting to become profitable in other countries as well that that wasn't happened a year ago it wasn't profitable in other countries and now it's profitable in other countries so that's more revenue more growth and it's just going to continue to be like this until honestly it becomes a monopoly and takes over so like i said put my money where my mouth is i'm putting it into amazon and you know we're just gonna have to see what happens but anyways guys if you guys want to join the discord i mean i said these plays in the beginning of the day like the fastly and the workhorse you know if you're in the discord you could have caught these plays with me made some nice money like i said 100 percent for free right now just hop on in listen to me what i'm t saying and you know make some money but so like i said let's click in the description below if you guys like the video remember to like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think about Amazon. I love it. So I'm putting my money where my mouth is and I'm expecting nice earnings next week. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.